Folks, we all need to buckle in for this story because it is a real doozy and it has everything to do with our friend Lauren Boebert and yet another one of the ghosts in her past coming back to haunt her in this very moment. Over the last few weeks and months in particular, we've spent some time talking about Lauren Boebert, the crazy thing she's doing right now, yes, but all of the things that she did over the last few years with regards to taxes, fraudulent claims, mistreatment of her workers, blah, 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 coming back at this moment to remind people that Lauren Boebert is bad now, but she's always been bad. But without hyperbole, the story I'm about to tell you is one of the worst things ever, and it really tears down Lauren's credibility for being a good mother and a family-centered woman, because when the chips were down, she bailed on her own kids, bailed on her family, even bailed on her dog. I want to read you the headline first. It says here, Republican Representative Lauren Boebert, 35, was involved in an accident on Mother's Day 2020 while off-roading with family in Utah. Daily Mail can reveal that the Colorado Congresswoman is accused of covering up the incident after she allegedly abandoned, abandoned her family in the vehicle. A family insider said Bobert lost control of her Jeep and bailed, leaving her son, her dog, and now former sister-in-law inside as it smashed into a rock face. Tori Hooper, 28, who was formerly married to Lauren Bobert's brother, sustained serious injuries to her face and chest in the collision. The source said that Bobert later begged Hooper to keep quiet about the crash, which occurred two weeks before a key primary for a congressional district. The source who spoke on the condition of anonymity said she begged Tori not to say anything. She tried to use her money. She said, I'll pay for it all. My God, guys. And I'm not even done yet. Stick around with me because I have even more details here about the story from a yet another source that talked about it. This is one of the worst things she's ever done. Lauren Boebert and Green and all of these people do terrible things in Congress every single day. But abandoning your sister-in-law, your son, your little doggy while you cause this accident is absolutely absolutely sickening guys i got more to read for you it says lauren bobert has reportedly taken up the torch to carry on the time-honored tradition of politicians ditching their supposed lo supposed loved ones after vehicular accidents for which they're responsible the first term colorado congresswoman was off-roading in a jeep with her son dog and now former sister-in-law in may 2020 when she lost control of the vehicle according to the daily mail a source told the outlet that bobert who has a history of reckless driving hit a rock wall badly injuring her then sister-in-law tori hooper and then bailed, the source said, leaving Hooper screaming and freaking out. Hooper's mother confirmed the incident to the Daily Mail, saying that her daughter got stuck inside of a crevice in the Jeep while Lauren took off her belt and slipped out. Lauren would go on to win a key congressional primary just over 50 days later, having begged Hooper to stay quiet about the incident. After, Hooper was soon back working at Lauren Boebert's gun theme restaurant, where other employees say they remembered her clocking in with broken teeth and visible facial injuries. Lauren Boebert is a sick person, guys. I don't have too much more to add here, but this is just yet another reason why she has to be defeated. Because yes, this is like not directly related to politics. Like this is a personal thing. And so some people might say, look, this is something awful that she did, but does it really affect her politics? And I say that it does 100% because part of being a politician is serving others, sacrifice, putting your interest, ideally putting your interests after the needs of your constituents, in particular, the constituents that don't have a lot of money, that don't have a lot of power, that don't want to have a lot of influence and things like that. And when you look at the best politicians in the United States and beyond, they don't put themselves first. They put the people first, especially the suffering people first. And if Lauren Boebert in this moment, who's gone on and on and on about how she's a mother and wife and family member first, would sell out her own dog son and sister-in-law, leaving them to be injured and scared and suffer. Lauren Boebert is a scumbag. Her personal scumbaggery reflects in her politics. She doesn't give a damn about her own family and she doesn't give a damn about you or your family.